I'm ready. 10 Today. minutes, 23 seconds. 3, 2, 1, we're in. Let's learn. War dolphins. <laughs> what? War <laughs> dolphins. The use of dolphins at war. What do you know about That's it? Fan- Has it happened? I mean, do what, you know anything what do you about th- it? What do you think I know about it? <laughs> like, like, very little. But what do you think about very it? Little. Like, how insane is the thought? The thought of this, like, animal. Th- this is this is what made me think of it. it the, the thought that this animal has like evolved on a separate path to us. It's been around approximately the same amount of time. It is intelligent yeah. life. It can learn from. It can learn and communicate yeah. with humans, which is bizarre. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what do we do? Get them, get them on the, get them on side, and send them off to war. So strap them up with an AK forty seven, so, chuck them in the sea, and yeah. the best. So believe it or not, th- right. this has happened for a long time. Shall I start reading? Please. What are you reading from? I'm reading from a short history of war dolphins. Do you want me to send you? You know the what link? I think. You know what I think is funny that they call them. Um, they call them <laughs> military marine mammal. <laughs> I think that's great. <laughs> I mean, if there's not. <laughs> If there's not something more clear that we are the worst animal on earth, it is this, isn't it? Oh, look at that animal. It's a bit dumber than us. Marine mammal. Yeah. Or, or okay. Look at that animal. It won't put up a fuss. Let's send it to war. <laughs> you know what I mean? It won't fight back. It's Off like, it goes. yeah, exactly. It's like football hooligans having attack dogs. It's just awful. We're just awful, awful animals. Right. Earlier this month, the Russian government Please. announced. It was looking to buy five combat dolphins. From where? <laughs> I don't fucking know. eBay.rs? <laughs> I have not a clue. Two females and three males. Physically unblemished and in possession of perfect teeth. Naturally, Russia did not reveal what it was planning to do with the dolphins. You wouldn't, would you? That allowed the internet to have a field day speculating for what nefarious tasks these dolphins might be used. Including recovering sunk, sunken torpedoes, killing enemy divers, or planting bombs. How awful is that? But Russia wasn't being serious, right? Well, actually, it probably was. For Russia, dolphin deployment is nothing new. During the Cold War, the country used these slippery soldiers. I do not like that. I don't like it that I just read that. I called them. I, I am not calling a dolphin a slippery soldier. That is too weird, but we'll carry on. The country used these slippery soldiers to do things like detect submarines. Flag mines and protect ships and harbours, according to retired Colonel Victor ba- Baronet. <laughs> In fact, countries have been enlisting these smart, adaptable creatures to perform underwater military tasks for more than 50 years, dude! I mean, of course they have. Okay. Also, you can't wow. say enlisting. You can get fucked as if they had no. a little fucking 3x3 three three easy up on the beach. You're right, dolphins. <laughs> Anyone fancy a fucking war? It's bullshit. We're bad creatures. I don't like humans. Let me carry on. <laughs> Let's be clear. Fill it out the form. <laughs> Flipper. <laughs> this is awful. What are your thoughts on it so far? I don't know how much time we've got. I feel like I've talked feel, too much. I feel like it's made up, but it's probably not. And part of me is thinking... No, it isn't right, made up. Guard dogs. Part of me is thinking guard dogs. Quite, you know train it they can look after maybe uh if you're at war you've got like a, a bunker you can put a guard yeah. dog outside they're going to stop enemy forces coming in that makes total sense do you need one in the ocean around um, a ship that's what i'm thinking and that's that seems to be what they're using them for which yeah. does make a tiny little bit of sense but at the same time it's utterly ridiculous yeah it's like the, <laughs> you know? the like the canary is used in the coal mine is that the the, the term of yeah. expression so yeah, yeah, i, I yeah. think Animals being used at war is probably largely like that. It's like they're mine sweepers, which is terrible as well. But I still yeah. like the idea of these being war dolphins and them actually doing something. So shall I carry on? Please. The story of America's war dolphins starts innocently enough. In 1960, military researchers wanted to design better missiles. And dolphins, graceful, lithe, aerodynamic in water, seem like the perfect animal to imitate. However, upon examining female Pacific white-sided dolphin named Notty, researchers quickly realised that dolphins weren't just well-designed. Designed? What do you mean? They were also <laughs> trainable. <laughs> like, this is so stupid. They are also trainable and adaptable and amenable to training. That led to mm. other things. Oh, God. Someone get the peanut wow. butter out. Is that what happened? <laughs> Holy. <laughs> right. They, could, they learned that they could recover objects. They could dive up to yeah. 2,100 feet. But... When it came to precision, no other cetacean, I don't know what that means, could outperform the dolphin. No other, like, animal, mammal could outperform a dolphin. Yeah, yeah. 
So probably a human. They were uh-huh. very easy to train. Navy dolphins are trained mainly in two tasks, neither of which involve combat. Okay, that makes it a bit better. First, they're taught to find underwater mines, often ones that are tricky yep. to locate, half buried, and hundreds of meters deep. Um, so yeah, that makes sense, and it kind of yeah, it kind of suggests that it is what we're thinking. Like they just they're like sacrificial. I want to know. If we have any in the UK, do we own military? They'd be freezing, dolphins? wouldn't they? No, we do they not make you feel bad though that we'll literally do anything to not do it ourselves? It's, it's absolutely but, horrible. Yeah, totally. Do you want to see a photo yeah. of a dolphin with um, its full gear strapped to it? Yep. <laughs> yep, I do. Here you are. Have a little scroll. And this is from the National Geographic, so I think it's it must a be real. Okay, genuine I'm photo. Now. If you scroll down a little okay, bit. Okay, so to our listeners, this is that cannot be a, a real photo. That cannot be that cannot be right. Okay, to our listeners, this is a this is a soldier on a boat we... and a dolphin jumping out of the water with what can only be described as a armband on that looks like it's got a gun scope, a camera. Yeah, yeah camera. Scroll, scroll, camera. Scroll, down a bit, scroll down a bit more, it's just like about halfway. Okay, okay. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. There'll be another photo. What the fuck? Oh, what? That's, what's what's going on there? What that thing that's <laughs> attached to its nose? That's a oh, beluga no. whale, and it's marking a target. This is yeah. so sinister to me. This is so awful. Like animals, animals to me are just oh, it's Not special more, intelligent animals or animals like dolphins or like even a dog, dude. You see a dog with zoomies, you don't instantly just think, right, let's fucking strap a gun to it. Do you? You know what I mean? No, oh. that's not why the song's called War Pigs, is it? We didn't use, uh, we didn't use pigs no. for war, did we? No, uh, no. I don't know. What? Maybe, eh? So military marine mammal. Wow, the, you, dude, I've learnt a lot, and I'm just scrolling through. Um, okay, I've got a new learning one. Learning about how they train <clears> them and stuff. Right, Richard L. Trout. Oh, pardon the pun. A civilian mammal trainer. Well, it's not really a pun because a trout isn't a mammal, but still it's an underwater creature. So I think it's funny. He was a civilian mammal trainer for the Navy from 85 to 89. He told the New York Times in 1990 that Navy dolphins were learning to kill enemy divers. How awful is that? But using dolphins for combat purposes just wouldn't make sense. Um, So there you go. They, They weren't. They're not trained to make decisions, so it'd be ridiculous to expect them to make choices underwater as to whether it's a friend or foe and what they should do about it. I mean, how would they kill them? Got- here, here, check this out. So after the fall of the Soviet Union, the Soviet military dolphin program was passed to the Ukrainian Navy. In March 2000, the BBC reported that the Ukrainian Navy had transferred their military dolphin project from Sevastopol to Iran. Iran bought the animals and the chief trainer carried on his research at their new ocean area. In 2012, Ukraine, Ukraine allegedly resurrected the military dolphin program. After the 2014 annexia- annexation of Crimea, the Ukrainian dolphin program was taken over by Russia. Maybe, maybe this is the start of some of the you know, stuff now. Conflicting statements have been made regarding the fate of the dolphins. One claim is that the program had been demilitarized prior to the annexation, with all military dolphins either sold commercially or dead of natural causes. A counterclaim suggested that dolphins died patriotically after going on hunger strikes and resisting their Russian captors. Wow. Russia reported, reportedly intended to intended to use advanced technology to visualize the dolphins biosonar signals in future military dolphin research so it was more about the sonar they were just testing on them Mm. but it looks like they have done like you you just sort of have to read obviously everything's so secret but you have to read between the lines and like they have used dolphins in a military setting that to me is this is quite a recent one here as well 2022 is just quite a recent story from israel really um yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says on Monday, January the 10th, 2022, Hamas, through a report by Al Quds, suspects Israel of using dolphins for the purpose of targeting Hamas dive fighters. Similar accusations were made against Israel in August 2015 when Al Quds claimed to have sources regarding another incident of cetacean fighter. It was 
equipped with a remote control, a camera, and a weapon that can fire harpoon type harpoon type projectiles. What? So the dolphin so they were, was they were, shooting divers. Yeah. So they were putting they were putting harpoons. And uh, a camera, so maybe maybe the camera's like a drone, like a VR thing, and the dolphin's under there. The guy can see it, then he's just he's just going like people. <laughs> he's just telling it what to do. Fire is like wow. <coughs> God, terrifying. there you go. Two, one. That's the end of lunch and learn. Wow. Was that the, was that a good lunch and learn? Did you enjoy this clip? If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now or type the Ride Companion into your favourite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. Cheers!